the disc doctors are in. Well, you see, no, Mel Torme sings the first verse, and then Barry Manilow kicks in with the second verse. Oh, 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 oh. I had it uh, the other way around. It's a happy song. That's just me. I'm Stephen Sashin. And I'm Todd Stauffer. We're the Disc Doctors. Rumor has it. And if you're joining us for the first time, that's either because you've got a computer problem and you're hoping we can solve it, or what else? Or you thought this was the home shopping channel and that this heap of <laughs> junk was designed by some of the wealthiest geeks in the country. <laughs> so don't wait. Call now. I like to think of this as the anti-Martha Stewart section of the <laughs> studio. So why don't we just get started? Yes? Yes. Okay, who do we have on the phone with us right now? Okay, you have Ray from Newhall, California. Hey, Ray, where's, how you doing? Where's Newhall? I don't know. Where's Newhall? Newhall is uh, 25 miles northwest of Los Angeles. Hmm. Uh, okay, gotcha. Sounds prettier than here. I don't know the zip code there. Northwest of Los Angeles. Now I'm scared. And Oh, my God, northwest of Los Angeles. <laughs> in That's in the ocean. Oh or God. if not, it will be soon. So what can we do for you? Um, I went out and bought... A, Microsoft Flight Simulator for Windows 95, right. and uh, when I went to try to load it, about uh, one quarter of the way through the loading, it started uh, giving me error messages saying that it was unable to copy certain files. Well, it is a Microsoft product. <laughs> yeah. so, and Not designed to work with Windows. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and then what? Well, and uh, come to find out that the NEC triple speed ROM, CD-ROM that I had did not support a uh, long file name uh, transfers or something like oh, that. Okay. So triple speed. Triple speed. Did they make so those? You Did you have a Windows 3.1 machine before and then you moved it up to Windows 95 on your own? That's correct. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's an old, uh, an older CD-ROM drive. With older drivers. With older drivers. Right. Okay. There are a couple things um, that happen with CD-ROM drives that are really common. One is if you're actually loading the real mode drivers in your auto exec or config sys file, uh, usually in the config sys, that can cause a problem. Mm -hmm. So you want to look in the config sys for anything that's going to be loading that CD-ROM drive and remark Real out. mode, you mean the old 16-bit uh, kind of drive. Exactly. So that's one thing to do. The other thing is if you already had that installed when you installed Windows 95, if you go down to um, the control panels and go to system, mm -hmm and click on this button that says performance. One of the things that often happens um, is you'll see where it says file system. If you've got older equipment installed, it's going to say uh, MS-DOS compatibility mode. And the newer games need it to say what it says here, which is 32-bit mode. So DOS compatibility mode means it's running in such a way that could support those old drivers, right. but that ain't great for these new games. New. Okay. It doesn't. So often the games won't work at all. The other thing you might want to do is um, if you get on the internet and check with the uh, um, a website for whoever made the drive, see if they have updated drivers, or go to the uh, Microsoft website and they have a hardware compatibility list. You can find all of the, um, oh boy, anything that you can stick in a computer and whether or not it works with Windows, and if so, what you need to do to make it work. Sounds yes. good. Okie doke. So good luck with uh, the future of Flight Simulator. I'm sure you won't be spending any time doing anything else. All right, thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. Take care. Enjoy that. Here's a little-known fact about Flight Simulator that for would Windows be a 95. Factoid. Would it, it is a little-known fact. You mess <laughs> with your computer's system clock. Yeah. Set it for the date of the Atlantic Atlanta Olympics. Yeah. Okay. The stadiums will be full when you fly over. Oh. Atlanta. And can you see Richard Jewell in his backpack walking by? We just you're just doing that to hurt me. No, I'm not. No, I'm not doing that to hurt you. I'm just I having hoping that lawyers are going to call me. That's all. So why don't we take a little break? If you have any questions that uh, you want to ask, or if you need to sue us for any particular reason, <laughs> feel free to call one eight 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 Velomer. That's one Tut Velomer, or eight 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 four five phone number six six three seven. Or you can send while. us an email. The address is disc doctors, all one word at jec.edu. And coming up later on today's show, your computer is supposed to make your life easier and more organized, right? Oh, that's what it's supposed to do. <laughs> well, it can, but only if you have the right computer. Stay tuned. Hey. <laughs> Fine.